Hey guys, how we doing? It's me, Gloria, and today I am coming to you with my Christmas series of 2017. Today, this is going to be number one card of the season. Now, I end up using some papers from this Mamba Sheets, Merry Christmas, and then I also use this paper from uh, Craftsmith, and this is a holographic, it's called Holographic Dream, and guys, if you do not this is the paper pattern that I'm using today in one of my cuts. If you do not have this paper pack right here, I advise you to go out and get it. I ended up getting mine in Michael's the other day, and I only paid $5 for it because it was a door buster. And oh my God, I am so glad. I am so glad I got this. But anyway, guys, there goes the rest of the sheets. So let's get started. And the paper that I'm using out of this Stack. It is this black, red, and gold, and white polka dot paper. So let's get started. My card is going to be an A2 size card. And here goes my card stock. So let's get started with the front. I already have the two layers put together, and I have this red layer, then my polka dot paper. And now I'm just going to attach this to my green, forest green card stock. And the reason why I use the forest green is to match my cardstock, of course. Let me bring you guys in a little bit. So there we go. So there goes the front of my card. Now, I end up using one file from the Cricut Design Space. And I got that file. And it was just a scallop circle. And I, it was a scallop circle, but I, I, I blonged it. And I end up widening it out just a little bit to accommodate my cut that I wanted for this uh, image. For my image, I mean. So, here goes the scallop, scallop circle that I end up getting. And what it is, it's just two, which is just the circles. But then I what I did was high contour the middle section so I could get a full paper. And there goes that paper, guys. Gorge Ain't it gorgeous? I just love it. So before I put that there, I end up cutting out a piece of, I think, a one and a quarter. Um, let me see. One and a half inch gold foil paper. And I end up using my modern wallpaper cuddlebug folder. And here goes the image. And look at how gorgeous. You can either use it both sides, one or the other, of course, whichever one is better for you. And I'm going to adhere that in the middle. But before I put that there, I have my dies that I end up getting from Anna Griffin. And this is the Anna Griffin Seasonal Die Set. And it's all words. And there's another set over here. And it comes with two die sets just like this. It was $29. And then it also comes with border folders so I have my sentiment that I ended up making right here and what I ended up doing was cutting two of them and overlapping them so I can get an overlay so now I'm just going to take this and use my glue and I'm just going to put some Adhesive right around the letters. And then I'm going to put this right down. Oops, that was a lot. And then I'm going to adhere this straight down. And as you can see, I kind of put too much, so I'm just going to take that extra off. Which is just fine also, guys, because this glue, it dries clear. Then I'm going to adhere it right there. Oh, that looks perfect. And I just love those two colors together, guys. Gold and red. Look at how gorgeous that is. Now, I'm going to end up having to add some adhesive to this. So, guys, I miss you so much. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. It's going to take me a little time, but 
as of right now, things are going to change. Then I have the two, the one and a quarter inch border. And before I put it there, I want to make sure that this is, I want this to go in the middle. So I want to add this a little bit further down, making sure that's the middle. Yes, it is. And now I'm just going to line it up, press on it, and voila. So there goes the front. Now, I'm not going to pop this up because I already have a lot of dimension going on. So I'm just going to add some ATG to the back of this. And then, oops, sorry. Then I'm going to line this up in the middle. Just like that. Making it straight. Oh, I just love how this card is coming out, guys. And I end up popping up the frame. Then I end up cutting out this cut image from Mrs. Kate's Cuttables. And I got this from the 50 cent store. And this is called the Christmas Cake. And it comes on a pedestal. And look at how gorgeous this is, guys. Let me see if I can focus it some. Oh my god, look at how gorgeous. It is just lovely. I love it. And it looks so good, I could probably eat it right now. <laughs> so I got this popped up a couple of times. I got it popped up over here. I got it popped up over here in the pedestal. So I also have the back popped up so it could be leveled. But I'm going to go half down and I'm going to pop up half. So with that being said, I'm going to take the release paper off of these parts. And then I'm just going to add some glue to the back. Making sure that when it adheres, it will adhere down. And that looks good. Right there. Now I'm going to press down on everything so it can adhere. And I just love how this card came out. It looks blingy and it's gorgeous. And it's awesome. And there goes my card. So these oh, red circles right here I got from the scallop circle. The leftover circles. You don't never throw those out guys. Because you can always use them to decorate or to design your card. Or if you need some type of lettering. Or you need a dot for I. I mean... They come in handy, let me tell you, okay? So it says celebrate, and there goes my fruit cake, my Christmas cake. And it looks really good, guys. And then the inside, it says, may your season be filled with love and laughter. Season's greetings. And I got that stamp set from my pink stamper, and this is a retired set. I think she still is having some of her... Uh, stamps but I'm not too sure so if you would like to see go ahead and go check her out and see if it's still available so there goes my card guys I really hope you guys enjoy if you like this video please thumbs up let me know what you would like to see also and I miss you guys I'm trying to get back into it and I'm trying to do things to kind of encourage me from doing other different things. But there we go guys. I really hope you like my number one first card of 2017 Christmas series. And I'll be back with more. You guys have a fabulous day. Bye now.